Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If that's your first time here, hey, my name is Jordan and my channel is all about photography and videography. I mainly make tutorials on Final Cut Pro and Lightroom, so if that's something you're interested in, I invite you to subscribe and go check out the other videos that I've made. And I'm also on the gram, the link is gonna be in the description below if you ever wanna come say hi. And I feel like I'm already talking way too much, so let's keep things efficient and let's get started shall we so today the tool i'm going to be talking about is called the adjustment layer i've been introduced to that tool by daniel schiffer i think it allows you to edit way quicker and easier your videos especially when it comes to color grading that's a tool that i use in every single one of my videos and I've been using this tool for like, I don't know, like years, three plus years now. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you where to get it, how to install it. It's pretty straightforward. It's gonna take you less than five minutes. So if you guys wanna follow along, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. That's where you're gonna be able to download this tool and it's completely free. Then I'm gonna show you how to use it in Final Cut Pro. And at the end, I'm just gonna show you the way I like to use it. All right, let's jump into Final Cut Pro. Let's start with downloading this adjustment adjustment layer. So once you've clicked on the link in the description below, you're going to end up in this page. This is Daniel Schiffer's selfie store. So you can download this adjustment layer for free or you can give a donation, totally up to you. The only thing you have to do is to add, click on add to cart. Then you have to enter your email and then you can download it for free. So by doing that, you're going to receive an email and you can click on view your order. It's going to bring you to a page where you can download the adjustment layer zip file. Once downloaded, you can just open the zip file. And once it's done, you're going to have access to this adjustment folder. The only thing you have to do is to move this adjustment folder into one of Final Cut Pro's folders. To find this Final Cut Pro folder, you need to go to your home. I invite you to open it in a new window. Then go to movies then go to your motion templates and I invite you to uh, move this folder into your titles. So then once you open Final Cut Pro, the adjustment layer is going to be a part of your titles. When you open Final Cut Pro, when you go on the left side right here to your titles, you're going to see appear the adjustment folder we've just put in and it contains just two adjustment layers. So now I'm just going to show you how to use it on your edit. So as an example to show you how to use uh, an adjustment layer, I'm just going to use a quick cinematic clip that you might have seen in my previous video which was about how to use the letterbox create those cinematic bars in Final Cut Pro. If you're interested in checking that out, uh, something's going to appear on the screen for you to click on. I'll also have a link in the description below. To add an adjustment layer to your project, the only thing you have to do is to uh, select one and drag it on top of your clips. All right, so let's say I'm going to use this adjustment layer on top of the first clip that I have right here. So basically an adjustment layer is a transparent layer you put above your clip and it is mostly used for color grading. Instead of applying effect to each one of your clips, it allows you to apply those effects, whether it's, you know, uh, regarding color correction, color grading, or any effect that you wanna apply to one of your clip. You can apply this effect just on the layer right here, and it's gonna affect all the clips that are below this layer. So this allows you to edit in a way easier way and a way faster way, because you can just apply all the effects you want to be applied onto all your clips on the layer right here and then to have it apply to all your like project or your like sequence you can just drag this layer on top of each of them and it's going to apply the effect on each of these clips right it's way faster than to edit each and every single clip or just copying all the attributes and effects you have on one clip onto all the other clips and i've also found that it makes your software lag way less because you're only applying the effects on one single thing instead of each and every clip so you can also take different uh, adjustment layers and put them on on top of each other you know just keep in mind uh, as Final Cut Pro works everything that is below uh, the layer is going to be affected by all the effect right anyway so now I'm just going to quickly show you how I personally use this I'm not saying that's the best way to use it that's just the way I like to use it and I think that makes my editing process way faster and easier I invite you to try this process for yourself and see if it works for you usually what I do is I place one adjustment layer on top of my first clip so I'm just going to quickly do my color correction uh, color grading and maybe add a few effects depending on the project that I have. I'm not gonna talk about the entire process because I have separate videos on color correction, color grading, etc. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll have something appearing on the screen and the links to the videos in the description again. I'm just gonna quickly do that.
So now I know that all these effects are applied to the entirety of all of my clips. But these effects, color grading, etc., might not work on each and every single clip, right? So what I personally do is I usually use the, the blade key and I just cut uh, on each clip to be able to go on to uh, those specific adjustment layers that already have all the editing we've made for the first clip. So after cutting them all, I can go on each of them and do the fine adjustment according to the specific clip that I have. So for instance, on that one, uh, I've set, you know, the letterbox and the offset, I place it that way, but it might not work for the second one. So I'm just gonna have to do finer adjustment on each clip, right? Especially when it comes to color correction, you know, all the clips you have might not have been exposed the same way. So you're always gonna have to, to you know, to go back on to uh, the exposure of each of your clips and slightly adjust it accordingly, right? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so now I'm done with all my fine adjustments on each and every single clip. So in the end, it made my software and laptop lag way less because all the edits I've done were on the layer and not on each and every single clip. And it also made it pretty easier because the only thing I had to edit was the actual adjustment layer and not all the clips. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you've learned something from it. If you did, please let me know about it in the comments below. It also helps me out in this video to do better on YouTube. And yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.